hi guys welcome back to spice channel tv again the apc blasts peter obi the labor party presidential candidate in the last presidential election so the ruling party has blasted mr peter obi stating that he expects tinibu to transform nigeria in one year but he failed miserably as the anambra governor in eight years guys in a statement the ruling party accused the former anambra state governor of showcasing his obsessive devotion to self-promotion against the best interest of nigeria this position was communicated by the party in a, press in a press statement signed by its National Publicity Secretary, Felix Mocha, it accused Peter Obi of misinforming Nigerians, stating that Obi's latest statement on the country's economic situations is admixture for, of half-truths and misinformation calculated to mobilize outrage against the All-Progressive Congress government of President Bola Tinivo. His rapt conclusion that Nigeria's economic crisis was caused by the nine years of APC-led administration is highly dishonest and deliberately misleading assessment, assessment of the country's economic trajectory in the last decade. The APC accused Peter Obi of lying that no efforts were being made by President Bolad Metinibu's administration to tackle poverty and unemployment in the country. It said that the facts tell a far more complex and different story. The economic the country's economic decline began under the watch of the People's Democratic Party with GDP growth plumping from seven point ninety eight percent in 2010 to 2.79% in 2015 and since 2015 according to the APC the global oil price crash geopolitical tensions climate change global covid pandemic and raising population has taken a toll on Nigeria's economy that is almost entirely dependent on drastically reduced oil export earnings and the growth recorded during the PDP years was due entirely to high price of crude oil and increased government spending that it supported and it is noteworthy that between uh, 2007 and 2014 nigeria earned about 531.2 billion under the pdp compared to the 28 the 278.8 billion under the apc between 2015 and 2022 the party blamed the pdp for failing to develop nigeria stating that despite the huge revenues available for it, successive PDP administrations neglected um, the challenges underlying structural uh, challenges and destructions in the, in the economy, leading and leaving the country vulnerable to economic stocks and volatility. So, my country people, the All Progressive, Con the All Progressive Congress have once again lashed at um obi saying that obi's selfish political desperation has made him to you know want to speak against the apc that obi will never acknowledge the complexity of the his um of his statements on economic challenges but would rather attempt to scapegoat the APC administrations for all the country's economic ills while turning a blind eye uh, to the bold and thoughtful policy interventions of President Bola Tinibu's administration. The party claimed that the country has witnessed a lot of development under President Tinibu. Yes, the APC said that Tinibu has made a lot of development, that despite clearing the backlog of the foreign exchange debt owned foreign airlines and other economic actors by the CBN, that the nation's foreign reserve have continued to expand, hitting towards 34 
billion dollars, the highest in recent times. And Peter Obi must note that his um his outrage, his manipulative narratives are not legitimate tools of opposition politics. Expecting the president to accomplish total transformation of Nigeria in one year, when in fact Obi failed miserably to accomplish in eight years as a governor of Anambra State is a height of disgraceful hypocrisy. So my country people, the PDP, the All Progressive Congress has once again blamed the successive People's Democratic Party's administration for the current hardship being experienced by uh, Nigerians. This condemnation comes a few days after the planned nationwide protest against the increasing cost of living, which organizers says says were orchestrated by the several ill thought uh, economic policies of President Bola Tinibu's administration, stating that it could had been working hard to reverse the trend. The APC also tackled the former Labour Party presidential candidate in the last election, Mr. Peter Obi, for attempting to cash in on the current situation to mobilize the masses against the president. The Labour Party candidate of the um, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general elections and the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, according to the APC, has continued to showcase his obsessive devotion to self-promotion against the interests of Nigeria, APC said in a statement signed by Felix Moka. Now, I know that the APC will try their best to point fingers at others. The APC will try as much as possible to point fingers for their own failure. They are always good in this blame game. They are always good at blaming others for their own failure. They don't like owning up to their failures. The APC administration has been a total failure in the country since the inception in 2015. And they still continue to blame the past administration. It is it is terrible. The APC blame a uh, Buhari government for their failure. Now they they are they are blaming the PDP for their failure. Soon they will soon start blaming President Bola and Metinibu for their failure because it seems that they are clueless. They are clueless. They are always fond of pushing blames to others instead of owning up to their failures, owning up to their mistakes. APC is the only party in Nigeria that has run out of ideas on how to rule this country because it seems that you know they are fond of pointing accusation fingers at other persons for the mistakes they made. So my country people, this is alarming and it's quite disastrous that Nigeria as a nation will find herself in this position and it is quite unfor- un- un- unfortunate. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.